52 Hello everyone and welcome to Yari TV. Yes, and today's episode, ang um, pag-usapan natin is Top 10 Kapamilya Programs na na mismo Or let's say, nami mismo Hindi mami miss ha, that's different It's na miss Or should I say, nami miss That is including yung mga classic Or tapos na Or yung current na mga programs ng Kapamilya Network and please, yeah, we're not uh, discuss or uh, ang topic natin is just plainly for the programs, whether you are per, uh, pro or against Kapamilya Network. Well, if you want, we can um, discuss that uh, sa separate na episode. Again, purely according to my 52 friends, the top 10 Kapamilya programs na na mismo are eto. Okay, so, simulan na natin. And again, this survey is according to my 52 friends. Let's start. Top 10 is... Baka magkamali ako ng pindot. <laughs> Number 10. Number 10, Chris TV. Aminin natin, we miss, no? Na nakakamiss ang... Um, pagkatokative ni Chris Aquino every morning. Um, Chris TV pala na siyang naging part ng morning natin na, na morning life natin, di ba? Nanimiss natin yung voice niya. Although, yeah, the, the replacement uh, doing well naman. However, it's different. If it's Chris ang nagsasalita every morning and trivia lang po, <laughs> tri trivia lang, um, Yari TV my reality TV is because of Chris TV. Um, guys, um, <clears throat> you know that Chris is, she's my idol in terms of hosting. Before kasi, uh, most of the time, every morning, pupunta kami sa house, then with my team, loto-loto and everything, then we will take a picture, I will prepare food, then we will eat. Um, yung palabas is Chris TV, kaya nagkaroon ng Yari TV. <laughs> Ganun! Ganun. So, Again, Chris TV, um, that was, tingnan ko yung kudigo po. Um, Chris TV had um, five seasons siya lahat. That's a total of 1,258 episodes. Yun. And it ended due to, it says, no, uh, it's due to health condition. And Chris, <laughs> Queen of all media, um, one to, wanted to ka parang spend the, the, the ano, time with her family. Kaya yun. Yun ang sabi. Again, number 10, that is Chris TV. That's according to my 52 friends. <laughs> okay, the top 9. Asap. <laughs> Yes, every Sunday we all know that um, we miss no ASAP. The ASAP stands for All Star Sunday Afternoon Party ASAP. <laughs> In terms of world class performance, we all know that um, ASAP naman talaga ang namamayagpag. And ASAP started last mm, February 5, 1995. That, oh, ano. Yun yung birthday mismo ni, <clears throat> yun yung mga 
tao. Lakad-lakad na mulakad. Hi! You're watching Yari TV. <laughs> That's um, February 5, 1995. Birthday yun ni Martin Rivera. One of the original hosts ng program. That's along with Pops Fernandez, um, Dayanara, Dayanara Torres, and Ariel Rivera. That was uh, 1995. And then... Siya yung replacement ng, um, ng tawag doon, um, sang linggo na po sila. That's Apo. <clears throat> you know, uh, millennials maybe can't relate, but again, um, we are talking about mga programs ng Kapamilya Network. Pwede noon, if you say Kapamilya program, yun talaga ang first na, na namimiss mo siya. Ganun. Again, number nine, we have... ASAP. And by the way, um, a most controversial, um, let's say, nangyare sa ASAP. Uh, di ba madami silang mga mga segments ngayon. Merong mga yung divas, di ba? Yung mga divas yung mga Angelin whatsoever. Tapos na mga greatest songs. Meron din yung nasi Regine, Regine Velasquez na ano yon. Basta Regine tapos the rest <laughs> um, the most controversial segment ng ASAP was Clash Dance that's with Vina Morales it's a dance actually that's like celebrity contest between um, specifically yung ano, Angela Velez and Regine Tolentino na Clash Dance um, kasi before that was um 2003 now um ang una na perform si Angela Velez I know most of you millennials don't know her just google it <laughs> I google mo siya <laughs> si Angela Velez nag siya yung nag, nag nag sayaw first then followed by Regine Tolentino it was a grand final tapos um the camp of Regine Tolentino um um claimed that Angela intentionally spilled no, uh, kerosene on the stage para masabotage si Regine Tolentino and then you can also check that I will I will I will um, paste the link in my description <clears throat> so ano nangyari na slide slide si I know si Regine Tolentino the entire like I don't know how many times siya na slide sa performance niya don't mind, I keep on watching there because I know traffic. <clears throat> Again, uh, number 9, ASAP. So, number 8, the top 8, the number 8 natin sa top 10 ng ating top 10, ulit ulit, <laughs> top 10 kapamilya uh, programs na namimiss mo na. Number 8 is, oh no, that's number 10, <laughs> number 9, number 8, Number eight, it's so small, no? Ang TV. So we have this for Latina. Ang TV na. Do what he did in Kenrin. Kenrin siya. Ganun yung. It's like, I know, Mickey Mouse Club. If we talk about parang America, it's para siyang ano, teenage version ng going bulilit. It's just that every 4.30 p.m., that's every day, that's in Kapamilya ko. Ganun. Um, I remember <clears throat> pa sila ko din, mga ganyan, mga, basta yung mga ganyan, na mga age, Patrick Garcia, sino pa ba yan, K, whatever. Um, para siyang going bulilit <clears throat> na, na ano, ganun. It's like parang comedy at the same time. Nakakaalyo, nakakamiss. Kasi yun ang pinaka-popular talaga na catch uh, phrase nila na ang t 430 na, ang TV na ganun. Nagsisigawan ang mga chikitin. Okay, so we have um, our number 7. Number 7 sa ating top 10 kapamilya programs na pinaka nami mismo according to my 52 friends and number 7 is sa ilog ang mundo'y tahinig <laughs> tabing ilog I don't know if you can see it it's the the, the logo of tabing ilog tabing ilog is a youth oriented program in kapamilya network every Sunday um nakaka-miss daw siya per one of my 52 friends kasi nga um, 
aside from, parang madaming before eh, yung click sa gym aid and gimmick then, but then same with kapamilya but um, tabing ilog, dyan nag-start yung John Lloyd K. Abad um, love team then andun pa si Paula Perelejo plus the Patrick Garcia diba? Andun so, nakakamiss yung yung setup na diba, every sa atin diba, may, for example, ako mayroon marami ako mga friends may specific place na mimiss mo so sila, yung ano nila is of course tubing ilog, the title din naman itself okay, so move on tayo sa thing number number 6 and the number 6 out of the top 10 kapamilya program na pinaka na mismo according to my 52 friends number 6 is magandang gabi bayan <laughs> again yes that's classic no pinaka old na na program or palabas ng kapamilya na work um hosted by Nolly D. Castro. Si Kabayan. Si Kabayan, Nolly D. Castro. Um, Magalang Gabi Bayan started pinaka first episode niya, August 21, 1988. So, noong, as you remember, uh, Nolly D. Castro naging vice president siya, diba, ng Philippines. So, noong naging vice president na siya, so nag-exit siya sa program, then pumalit sa kanya yung daughter niya, which uh, si Kat D. Castro, along with Henry Omega Diaz and may isa pa eh, for God, Erwin Tolfo. Okay, yun. Yun. So, yun na. Diyan nagsimula yung, yung word ba na magandang gabi ba? Ito si Kabayan Noli Di Castro. Kabayan meaning fellow countryman. Ganun. And especially, inaabangan yung mga Halloween special ng MGB or Magandang Gabi Bayan every November, like Halloween, of course, November, Halloween nga, diba? Every Halloween, mayroon yung silang special. So, si Kabayan, pumupunta tayo ng mga sementeryo. Tapos, mga effect-effect, yung mga ganyan. O, mga ganyan. Mga effect-effect yung mga ganyan. Ay, grabe. Um, basta. Panuuri nyo na lang. I, I will, um, copy-paste then a link pa para ma-view ma nyo. No, especially sa mga millennial stand na, oh my god, I don't know the program. <laughs> no, kaya nga, ano siya, whether it's a current program or yung tapos na na program. But if you, again, if you will say kapamilya program, ano ang unang kupasok na program sa isip mo? This is our number um, six. Magandang gabi. Bye. Ganun. Number five. Our number 5 out of the top 10 Kapamilya na, uh, program na na mismo according to my 52 friends. Number 5, Maalaala mo kaya? Of course. I mean, I mean for me, sino bang hindi nakaka, ano, nakakaalam sa Maalaala mo kaya? Um, mm, sabi nga nila, artista ba? every time na may mga interview sa artista, hindi ka parang hindi ka certified na actor or actress. If hindi ka nagigest sa maalaala mo kaya. Um, yun. <clears throat> and did you know that the first episode ng maalaala mo kaya, that was last May 15, 1991, starring Romnick Sarmente and Vina Morales, ang title, Rubber Shoes. Ah, oh, muli, yan, yan, ay, nagbisaya ko. Yan ang pinaka first episode, si Vina at saka si Romnick Sarmente. So no, I think that's the longest running ano, then, drama anthology now, even in the Philippines, even in Asia maybe. Um, trivia lang then, additional trivia, um, the pinakamadaming na take or na guest sa MMK with 32 episodes sa babae si Yula Valdez, then 31 episodes naman for Ricky Davao, that's for lalaki. Now, the most controversial episode of MMK na pinalabas na yung teaser, parang teaser ko lang na napalabas last week, tapos ngayon lang ako nag air Napalabas na siya, scheduled to be aired na siya. Kaso, teaser pa lang na na-call out na sila ng MTRCB <clears throat> that was starring um, Jane Oineza and Angel Aquino. Yung st I remember that. Kasi yung story niya is si Angel yung mama, mother ni Jane. Then Jane, parang basta about related to sa drugs. Tapos, 
parang na-rape siya ng stepfather niya na drug addict din. Then, may mga masiselang eksena. Um, scheduled to be aired this week. Tapos, MTRCB pumasok. So, hindi siya na-air noong June 2, 2012. Instead, nag-re-edit nila and they given it SPG na ratings. Well, if you want, we will talk about ratings ng MTRCB the next episode, you know, then. <laughs> SPG is like, ano bang stands for? Strong General? Strong General? What's G? Oh my God! <laughs> Basta kay Strong General? No, no, no. Strong Parental Queer Research Guy that sorry. <laughs> In Tagalog, um, Ang Tagalog, that is, um, wait lang ha, ang S, hindi ko, strictong patnubay ng, as, no, 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 strictong patnubay at gabay. At, my, I need to check that. <laughs> Sorry. Basta ganon. So again, June 2, na-air na siya ng June 30. Kasi nga, <clears throat> they make sure na, hindi na naman sila mapengbang ng MTRCB. Again, number five, maala-ala mo kaya. Number four, sa ating top ten, pinakanamis mong kapamila program. <laughs> number four, sa ating top ten, pinakanamis mong kapamila program. According to my 52 friends, number four is, oh my God, Sarah, ang munting princess. Oh my God, where is Sarah? Sarah. <laughs> yeah, sino bang hindi nakakakilala kay Sarah? Even our millennials, di ba? Kasi nga, di ba, nauso yung patatas nga, di ba? Nag-trending sa Facebook, madaming version and everything. So, hindi nakakaalam si Sarah ay aming kapitbahay. <laughs> ano siya? Um, it is <clears throat> a Japanese, Japanese, Japanese pala yung Sarah. It's a Japanese originated siya in Japan. It's a Japanese anime. Ang ano niya setup niya is ano um pinanganak siya sa according to Wikipedia. <laughs> um pinanganak siya sa sa yun. Saan kaya siya pinanganak? I think sa India. Then sa India siya pinanganak pero yung story nag-roll siya sa England. Diba? Ano ba? Ano ko i-bash? <laughs> then um, again 1985 so kung 1985 ilang age na I mean anong age na ni Sarah ngayon so she, she's not mounting princessa anymore 19, hindi ko magaling sa math 2020 minus 1985 35 oh my god may anak ka siguro si Sarah ano kayong pangalan Geronimo. <laughs> Joke yun. Um, yun, diba? So, hindi nakakala kay Miss Minchin, kay Lavinia, and everything. And then, because nga, dahil sobrang sikat niya na uh, cartoons, along with Sadie and Julio at Julia ng Kapamilya Network again, um, magtagaroon siya ng movie na adaptation or version that was 1995 starring Camille Kratz then meron ding TV na series that's starring Charlene San Pedro last 2007 again our number 4 that is Princess Sarah aka number 3 sa ating top 10 kapamilya programs na pinaka na mismo according to my 52 friends. Number three. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. It's scammy. It's scammy. Got right. Once upon a time is. Ano siya? It's. It, um, see, every Sunday. Sunday ba? Pero naglipat pa pa sa isang air sila every week. Diba? Sunday ba sila or Friday? Whatever. But week, eh, basta, weekend. Um, um, of course, fantasy siya. That, however, fantasy story that promotes parang good values naman para sa mga four kids. So, yun. And trivia, of course, well, <laughs> trivia ko is, um, pinaka first episode na Once Upon a Time. It was 1995. Um, um, si Ate Juday at saka si Riko yan. Oh my God, naalala ko si Riko. 
<clears throat> yeah. That's Juday and Rico. That was 1999, the first episode ng Once Upon a Time. Okay, and the number two sa ating top 10 Katamilia programs ang pinaka na mismo, according to my 52 friends, is... Tayo na sa Cine Escuela. Cine Escuela. Cine Escuela is a... Or, pinaka first siya nag-air, 1993. It's about science. No, ang, ang ganda do. Ang, ang ganda ng Cine Escuela. Of course, Cine Escuela, educational siya. That's every morning, every day. Hindi <clears throat> ko maalala yung time, pero, pero I think it's around 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. before. Again, 1993. Tapos, actually, that is, again, Katamilya program na partnership with the OST, the Department of Science and Technology. Right? Tama ba ako? The OST. Basta the OST program. <laughs> Yun. So, again, uh, entertaining yung mga kids at the same time, ayun nga, educational. Yun. Kaya, nami-miss. Tapos, na naalala ko pa before, yung pencil ata, may, basta may, may object, parang, parang ganun-ganun, tatalon-talon, tapos, ting, 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 ganun, ang intro nila. Tayo na, sa sinis ko lang, ganun. Mag-eskemi, do, eskeme, do, ganun. Okay. Before, before, <laughs> before we reveal our top one um, Katamilia uh, program, the pinaka mismo, according to my 52 friends, um, let's have a quick recap. Our number 10, again, is our top 10 Katamilia programs, the pinaka mismo. Number 10 is, pinumuno yung guide ko, number 10, Chris TV. 9 asap tan number 8 ang tv number 7 pabing ilog number 6 magandang kabibayan number 5 maalala mo kaya number 4 princess sara number 3 once upon a time number 2 sini squala napansin okay napansin ko most of this tapos na only nasa ano ngayon naka pending ang status due to the current situation is an MMK lang. At saka once upon a time, I think. Number one, the pinaka na mismo ang kapamilya program according to my 52 friends, the number one is pa 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 Oy, aminin! <laughs> Na-miss nyo yan. Diba? Na-miss ko din naman yan. Well, before I will discuss about this, this is according to our 52 friends. I have a lot of friends, thousands, but the survey is just based on our 52 friends. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> aminin natin, namiss natin to, diba? Sobrang, sobra, sobra. Showtime, pinakauna sila nag-air 2000, 2009? Really? I don't think so. I mean, hindi ko, check ko pa yan. <laughs> Hindi ako nag-research. This, this is just, you know. <laughs> well, at alam niyo ba na dalawang beses na sila nawala sa ere? Pang-tatlo na to. <laughs> First time na nawala sila sa ere, that was a 20-day suspension due to their, um, due to Rosana Roses. No naging hurado si Rosana, then she had this parang negative remark about teachers. So, syempre, umama yung mga ano. So, yun, na-suspend ang showtime. Again, showtime. Suspension for 20 days lang naman. So, temporarily, um, since meron silang segment na magpasikat, they replace it with magpasikat. Same format, same lahat, different title, same host and everything. Magpasikat that was last um, January 11. <clears throat> ah, yun. Well, ilang, ano lang naman yun. Ilang days lang naman yun. Tapos, nung in nila, tapos na-grant na yun, na pwede nang bumalik sa area yung showtime. Yun na, nagiging it's showtime. If you can notice, mayroong ITS ngayon. It's not showtime, but it's showtime. It's showtime, gano'n. 
bumalik na sila sa area. At saka ngayon, na-miss na natin, diba? Kasi nga dahil sa situation ngayon. So, uh, that's it for the top 10. Again, thank you. That's the, 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 the kabuuan of our top 10 kapamilya programs na pinaka na mismo. That is according to my 52 friends. So, that's it for today. Again, see you again next video only here, Miyari TV.